All right, well, good morning. We are on a new trail today. We're at the mouth of the Platte River, and um, it's, <laughs> sorry about that, it's absolutely beautiful once again. I was just talking with a gentleman visiting here, and he said that this beach area was rated number one in Michigan in the Detroit Free Press. Um, Detroit Free Press, if you didn't do that, <laughs> sorry to give that information, but that was shared to me by someone else. Actually, that man in the white t-shirt there. Um, all right, so this is the mouth of the Platte River, and um, coho salmon come here and try to make the leap into Lake Michigan. And you can see that the opening is right over there. Many people come here for the um, the little lake, the river, I'm sorry, the Platte River, and also because they have Lake Michigan right there. Uh, a lot of kayakers, canoers. If you, I don't think I can get it, but way seven or several miles is South Manitou Island and there way out yonder is Sleeping Bear Point. This is a very rich area for looking for um, rocks and fossils. We've found quite a few that show evidence that this was once salt water area and we've also found rocks that show that at other times it was very um, hot temperatures, very much pressured area. So our rocks and fossils can tell us much about how old the earth and also the ge geological, um, can't think of my word that I want here, the effects that geology has placed in this area. This is pretty close to the southern part of Sleeping Bear National Lakeshore. And um, just wanted to give you a little taste of this. If I can zoom in on all the variety of rocks. There's a um, variety of sizes. There's boulders I've seen in the water. And of course, there's um, plenty of uh, more of this underneath us. All right, we'll see what our next stop holds and what it brings, but um, this is the mouth of the Platte River.